back, everyone. It's me, Jack, live from the Monkey House. And on today's show, we are burying a time capsule. Will someone please draw a map of the hole that I've already dug here in the backyard? It would be so embarrassing and what a letdown to put all this effort into a time capsule and then forget where we buried it. we got to find this thing in 20 years, people. I'm not sure if I'll be able to remember anything in 20 years, to be honest with you. Uh, I'll show along. We're putting things in the box. Let's meet our next contributor. Give it up, me monkey nuts, for Alex. Hey, Alex, how are you? Good. Great! Are things cool right now in California? Are you feeling cool? Or Colorado, excuse me. Are you feeling cool? Yeah. Good. I I just made the second biggest mistake after calling it Colorado. I just called it Coolifornia. Yikes! I need to go back to cool school. <laughs> Alex, tell us, what do you want to put here in the time capsule? A fidget spinner and drum gears. Oh, very good. Well, hey, listen, you get to keep the fidget spinner because I already put one in there. So uh, good news for you, Alex. That was very kind of you to insert your fidget spinner, but that was my item that I put in. So you get to keep that and keep playing with it, but we'll totally take those gummy bears. Why do you think gummy bears should go into the time capsule, Alex? Because I wanted to see what, what, what they look like, what, not right now, though. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, totally, because, you know, uh, the ecosystems change over the years. You know what, with uh, climate change and, you know, uh, animals uh, migrate, the migratory patterns, we don't know if the gummy bears that are living in North America in 2039 are going to be like the gummy bears that we have now. So we got to preserve some of them so people know what gummy bears were like now in 2019. Right, Alex? Yeah. Here's a question for you. Would the gummy bears of 2019, would they still taste good 20 years from now when we open this thing up? What do you think? I don't know. I think they would taste bad. You think they taste... What about the texture? Would they still be gummy? Would, like, would they be soft? Like, if you put them in your pocket and get them nice and warm, would they be soft? Or do you think that they would have calcified and turned more into, like, little gummy pebbles? They would... They might be, like, soft. Oh, they might be soft. Well, that's good. I mean, that's that's half what you want in a gummy bear. You want it soft, and you want it flavorful. You do not want it petrified. You don't want it like a little pebble. And uh, you certainly want it to look like a bear. Are they going to look like bears in 20 years, Alex? What do you think? I don't know. I think they would. This is like a great science experiment. So in 20 years, everyone, when we all come back here, and we are going to do that. We're going to meet back here in the backyard of the monkey house in 2039. Let's all wear lab coats and, uh, I don't know, bring... You know, just various scientific tools, Erlenmeyer flasks, rulers, thermometers. We're going to inspect each one of these gummy bears and see what happens to a gummy bear over 20 years. Audience, give it up for Alex in Colorado. Let the great experience.